do they hate us? Oh, sweetie, it may seem like they hate us, but really, it's more like they chose us. But, Daddy, I didn't want to be picked. Neither did I, Pumpkin, but... Unfortunately, it is the will of greater men and a greater god. This will be the last nuclear war the world will see. There's an old saying that one must destroy before they can create. It's like when you play with your Lego blocks. Once you build something, don't you have to take it apart in order to build something bigger and better? It's the same thing with men and cities. Couldn't they have picked other cities? They have, my baby. Many others. But we've been chosen because we just consume too much. There isn't enough food and materials to go around anymore, and because of that, there's too much evil in the world now. You know how scary it can be when you and your brother come with us to the market, don't you, babe? Yes, Daddy. Now, it's been nine minutes since the sirens have gone off. I want you to be brave, my angel. We're going to be immortal after today. That means we're going to live forever. No more pain, no more hunger, no more hurt. That doesn't sound so bad, now does it? It's time for us to tell each other goodbye. And I love you so much, my baby. I'm so proud of you. Now let's grab our signs and head outside. The Smith family straps their hollow, stenciled sign over their back and above their head. As they position themselves in front of a large, immobile marble slab, they clasp their hands in a row and close their eyes. The tears rolling down their cheeks evaporate immediately, as do their bodies, once the nuclear blast reaches them. Their permanent shadows burned against the marble, leaving a message for survivors of the Great Reduction. We forgive you. Let's not be in vain.